Party people ask. Party people receive. Okay, party people in the place to be. What's going on? It's me. It's me. Just when I think I've seen it all, there's more. There's more. This comes from the uh, list given to us by uh, Party Girl. Girl? Does anybody have a star? R E X X A. Uh, Unpretty Rap Star, Episode 04, Tommy vs. Jace, one to one battle. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to tell you this, but it's. Hey, hip hop! <laughs> It's K hip hop time. It's K hip hop time. What? K hip hop. It's K hip hop time. Uh, yes. So this is a K hip hop battle rap. Yes, you heard me right. I know you went back and rewound it to make sure that you heard what I said. But you you heard what I said. You know you I was speaking plain English. It's a K hip hop battle rap. Courtesy of Unpretty Rap Star and it starts right now. Unpretty Rap Star. Yeah. Sponsored by Adidas. Yeah. Adidas knows what's going on! Girls! Look at this! The uh, subtitle should be English here. Judging by the look on people's faces, they weren't impressed. There's a different kind of uh, skill here in battle rapping. I'll get into when this is over. This is only got a minute left. There's a different kind of skill here. I have no idea what they said. <laughs> uh, battle rapping uh, seems to be, and I've never battle rapped before, and I don't think I ever will because I don't think I, that's that's a specific skill set that I would not have the ego to say that I have. But from what I've seen of battle raps, I've seen a bunch of them. Uh, it almost seems like I'd want to be. If I had to, I might want to be the second person to go because the thing is that the first person to go kind of blows their load, you know, so they have to like they have to it, it's, it's offense and defense. Right. So the first person's offense, the second person's defense. Right. So the first person has to have such unspeakable shit going for it. like that's. Like it was, it, it it like if you ever watch Eight Mile, I if I remember correctly, M's character Rabbit 
only went first in the last battle. Every other battle, he was able to take whatever the person said to him and then use it against the other person. That would seem like the way to go. Uh, I would seem like the easiest path to go. And the hardest thing to do would be to go up there and, and say some shit that just shut the other person down. Like they couldn't, they had no retort to anything you said versus, oh yeah, okay, I knew he was going to say that and I got something for that and I got something for that, that, you know, you know what I mean? Like it almost seems to me, and it would probably be different for each specific person, I might want to go second so I can hear what the person's saying and talk shit about that versus just going first and then your fate is done. Like you, you have no part in what happens afterwards versus the person second who now has control and can take it to the end. That's the anchor. It's almost like the anchor of a relay race. Uh, I would imagine this is edited a lot the way uh, American uh, reality shows are edited. This looks like it was edited to make the second person uh, timey look like the clear winner i don't know what was actually happening i don't know if the chick up in the crowd or the judge was really looking like that when jace was say was spitting her rhymes the way the cuts made it seem but what i do know is korea is coming for our reality television korea is coming for our pop and korea is coming for our hip-hop they're fucking coming! They're fucking coming! Come on. Come on. Like, they had... They had flows. They flowed. I couldn't tell what they were saying. Because it's Korean and I don't know Korean. But you know what? I might have to learn Korean. Because they're coming! They are coming! You know? And America doesn't have its defenses open. You know, America pop does not have its defenses. America and American hip hop doesn't have its defenses. America reality TV does not have its defense. Matter of fact, America reality steals its shit from overseas all the time. So that's nothing new. But uh, you know, this is it's an interesting, uh, interesting little vidya, Rexa. Appreciate you bringing this to my attention. Let me know what you think. Two drink minimum reactions is international. Party people. We've had we've had we have party people in England. We have party people in Pakistan. We have party people in Korea. We have party people all oh, we have people all in America, Canada, the Canadians. We have Canadian party people. Two drink minimum is global. It's international. So to my Korean uh, party people who have been so helpful, by the way, in K-pop and hipping me to different aspects of K-pop and J-pop. And and all these different aspects of things that I don't I don't understand to try to help me understand so I can more eloquently present it to you the party people. Let me know uh, who you think won this battle. Run this uh, won this battle rap. Uh, let me know if they got it right, if they got it wrong, if the editing too much. If you, have you been a contestant? Are you Timey? Are you Jace? Let me know what's going on here. You know, uh, and and I appreciate the party people who have uh, hit me to some of this game. You know, uh, and K-pop is one of our biggest segments here at Two Drink Minimum. So we're uh, K-music, I guess K-music now, right? Because it's K-pop and K-hip-hop. K-music is one of our biggest segments here. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on uh, keeping on on that train. So yeah, I appreciate that, Rexa, and uh, we're gonna keep it going here. We've got a couple more to do. I appreciate all of you. Cancel, cancel Ghostbusters reboot. Represent Suplex City, bitch. And peace out.